it can be really hard, right? Trying to onboard new clients, trying to collaborate with them on their own project, being able to email back and forth, trying to find the old email threads about certain topics that need to be implemented and so on and so on. What if this all could be simplified? Collaboration, onboarding of new clients, well, in this video, I'm going to show you how Client Venue can help you with precisely this and so much more. Let's hop in. Once inside the dashboard, you will come to a similar overview. Yours will most likely be completely blank and you will get an onboarding video to set up your different kinds of sections. But let me walk you through them right now. You will have a few things. You, first of all, you will have your workspaces. You can set up your agency projects, you can set up your client projects, as you can see here. So for example, agency projects will be uh, your own personal internal uh, collaboration projects, right, with your own team members. You can set up your client projects really with complete ease. And you can also archive projects as soon as uh, a certain project has completed its course. You will have three different kinds of tabs here. You will have agency, you will have clients, as you can see here, to allow for easy access at all times. Then we have the tab clients. You can onboard new clients. You can also see requests, as you can see here. And you can also add new clients directly towards this dashboard. The next part is setting up your services. And as you can see, you can set up your services and people can actually buy these services from you from a certain overview. Then the next part is setting up your teammates. And as you can see, we have certain teammates already entered, some dummy content, uh, but you can edit them by their own specific roles. So if you enter a new teammate, you can enter their credentials, you can enter the email, you can assign a certain project so they can only work on the projects assigned to them. And then they will have a role, either manager, editor, or just fewer of the project. So these are the different kinds of roles that you can implement for your teammates to be sure that you only allow access to certain projects that really belong to them instead of them seeing the entire overview of your business. Then the next step will be invoices. You can create invoices with the connection Stripe at this moment. So you can connect with Stripe or continue without Stripe. Right, so you can just create an invoice. You can select your client, as you can see here. You can select your service, and then you can send the invoice towards your client. If you select Stripe, then a checkout will be generated for them. So you can select your, as you can see, you can select your client, you can select your service, you can then choose between two different kinds of options. Are they automatically charge a payment method on file or email invoice to the customer to pay manually? So these are the two options that you can do. And then you can also select a due date before the invoice will expire. Now, these are all the different kinds of sections. If we go to over to the setup, you will see that you can also, if you have the plan for it, you can also, implement your white label branding. So client venue will disappear and it will be replaced by your own branding. So if you have that, you can do so. You can also send emails using SMTP details that you can just toggle on and then give all your SMTP details. So emails will not be coming from client venue, but coming from your own business uh, email credentials. So as you can see, we have quite a few uh, integrations coming soon. And those are all marked, as you can see. So uh, Intercom, Crisp, LiveChat, HubSpot, and uh, Twack.to will all be coming soon. And currently we have Stripe as an integration available along with Slack and Webhook. So you can export certain data that way. If we go into the settings, then you can set up your uh, company information. So you can set up your logos, you can set up your time zone, you can set up the company address. Uh, on the profile, you will be able to uh, change your profile settings. You have your security, you have your subscri subscriptions, and you have your notifications. So which notification do I want to be notified on? And you can just toggle them on or off depending on your own preferences. Now, once a client has been onboarded and inside the system and the workspace has been created, we can basically go to any kind of project. 
a workspace that has been created. We can assign certain people. As you can see, we can add members to them. We can add a teammate or we can add clients. As you can see, make this project external to add clients. If so, we can add them directly here. And then to really collaborate, we have the board tab. And from here, you will be able to set up your entire boards like a good project management tool. You can assign people to them. So let's actually go to a certain um, board that may have already content inside. So let's do digital marketing. And as you can see, we already have some tasks inside. So we have drafts, we have to do's in progress. And if we take a look inside, you will be able to see the creator, the collaborators, so you can add people towards this particular task. And then you can also give it a description. So client venue allows you to really collaborate with clients in a more sufficient way. You can also use client venue to onboard them and you can use the integrations at your disposal like Stripe, like uh, outbound webhooks to export certain data and notify you, your teammates or your clients about certain changes inside of client venue. So be sure to grab yourself a copy of Client Venue today. The link will be shown on top as well as in the video description and try it out yourself.